Hi, second grade. Good to see you. Mr. Michael back with another five-minute demo. Well, since we've had a little extra time here away from school, I've caught up on a few things. Some things around the house, some things for school, but I've also caught up on some old movies and like cartoons I used to watch when I was a kid. And one thing I kind of noticed that a lot of them had in common was like the good guys or the bad guys always had these really cool secret bases. And as a kid, I loved to draw my own secret bases. So I think that's what I'm gonna show you for this one. We're gonna design our own secret base. So one thing that I loved to do since I was a little kid, and I haven't done it for a long time, so this was a fun thing for me, was I love to design secret bases. I loved movies where the good guys and the bad guys always had these cool secret bases and they were like either inside a dormant volcano or on an asteroid that orbited the earth, on the moon, underwater, or deep underground. <laughs> so I loved designing those things when I was a kid. And as I've gotten older, I've designed a few here and there. Like I said, it's been a while, but I've designed a few here and there and I tend to get kind of more funny about them especially after I watched, remember, Despicable Me and grew with his secret underground base and stuff and under his house. So let me take you on a tour of my secret under, well, not under, well, it is kind of underground, but it's located in a dormant volcano. This is my secret base. So if we look here at the top, here's like where the crater of the volcano is. And then that's what I call the helipad. That's where like the, the, helicopters and stuff can land and then if you look there's like a central shaft that goes right down the middle so you can access all the different rooms so off to the left here this is my garage this is where like all my vehicles and stuff will be and I can come out there whoop, and then go out across the top of the volcano there over here is my hangar deck that's where like where all my airplanes and helicopters will be when I don't use them and then there's the door whoop, and they can come out there and fly out into the sky Kind of thought of this one as kind of like a Gru underground base as well. So here's like where all my minions would eat. This is the mess hall. That's where all the food is, is served. <laughs> Over here, since it's kind of like on an island, see how I put the little waves there for the water? And if I've got ocean out this way, then you know I've got to have access for my submarines. So here's my submarine bay. And that's where all my submarines park. And then that door goes up. And then all my submarines can go out that way <laughs> over here i'm starting to get a little crazy this is my indoor sailing room so there's like water you can see a sailboat there's like a little island a little mountain <laughs> all that underground there over here i'm getting even a little bit more crazy this is my indoor skydiving area and indoor jeep trail so i guess if i have some uh, or not me, my minions have some downtime. They can go do some indoor skydiving, complete with airplane, or they can take a little Jeep and go on the indoor Jeep trail. <laughs> Over on this side, there's my command center. All right, kind of goes up here into this cool little dome up above ground. And there's like my little communications dish and stuff, but then down here is like where all the commands and stuff come from, right down in there. And my minions are going to need some, some downtime to relax. So again, we have those things over here. But over here, this is like my recreation center too. This is where we have like games and stuff like that. Maybe like basketball courts, <laughs> swimming pools. All those things are located in this area right there. <laughs> and then down here in the recreation center, this is what I call the anti-gravity golf course. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Down over here, if it's underground, I figure part of the base here has to have a bay that is dedicated to the drilling machine. So here's my drilling machine, and you can see like it's got its little drill bit on the nose there, and then that opens up, and then it can go drill underground to get to wherever it needs to go. All my minions need to live somewhere, so this is like my apartments and my housing area here. This is where they all live. And then of course, the power core, the reactor core. That's where all the power to, to power all these cool things comes from, my reactor core there. <laughs> and I kind of tried to do this in the design of what we'd call a blueprint, all right? When architects 
So people who design buildings and structures, their first thing that they do before they build the building is draw a blueprint. And they called it a blueprint because for a longest time, you would draw on the paper and would come out blue. Nowadays, we kind of do them on computer and they print out and they look a little bit different. But I kind of tried to draw mine in the style of an old blueprint. So if you want to try that, go for it. Remember, pencil first, all right? Then go in and outline with your either your blue marker or pen, or you could use color as well. Sir, so what was your secret base? Was it out in the middle of the desert, underneath some forgotten pyramid, out in the middle of the jungle? Was it under a volcano like mine? Was yours under the ocean, like deep under the sea floor? Was it on an asteroid that orbits the Earth? Or maybe it was on the moon or on another planet? Guys, I would love to see them. Remember, at the end of this video, you'll see my email address. Mom and Dad, if you could, please take some pictures and send them to me. Guys, that was fun. In fact, I think I'm going to go make another. <laughs> I'll share that one with you at another time. Take care, my friends. Keep an eye out next week for another five-minute demo. And until then, adios, amigos.